welcome to Ms. Lone Star. Thank you so much for subscribing, watching, liking, and donating to um, getting us around the world. This week, I am trying to learn how to do a lot more things by myself. Um, so that has been really interesting and that's what you're gonna see some of this week. And also a little bit of P-Town with Rob. Uh, it was really interesting, I didn't prefer it. Um, I don't know if I'll go back. I kinda like the solitude of these little islands. Uh, right now I'm on Putty Hunk and I'm watching a gorgeous sunset. You can see the pink reflecting on my face. Parking is a little tight here. We just had the roughest dinghy ride to date. I said you have to come down here. Mine in the gutter. Hey Crash, this is a big day for you. You've taken the very first bite out of our boat. There it is. Huh. Right there. That's where it is. Yep. You did, are you going to cover it? Through the canal right now, and we're making 11.2 two knots, 11.4 knots. We're at ebb tide, so the current is to our back, and it is just pushing us through here so quick. Last time Chet and Rob came through, it was. Um, it, the current was against them and they were going two knots. I can only imagine how painstaking that would be to be going through this canal at two knots under motor. So, tally ho. Everything seems to be pretty in slow motion. There's no way this can be pretty Even though Hey mister Going at half speed How you speed. doing? You in your bedtime perch? Yeah? Do you want to play a little bit? Even though Is that a no? I love you like Can you say goodnight to everybody? Say goodnight! Good night. Good night. Oh, good boy, you are. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> Gentle. We are in Cuddy Hunk, and it is so beautiful. You can hear the surf. Um, it's so relaxing. Uh, Crash really likes it. And Onyx and Crash and I are walking on the beach, and we met a wonderful woman named Lolly and her mother, and they have a little rental property here. So we're gonna hang out with them later tonight, and then head back to Miss Lone Star um, and do some organizing. I got a couple projects to do, so that should be fun to watch. Don't pluck my eyelashes! <laughs> he loves to pluck my eyelashes. Not only does he pluck himself, he plucks me. Just get in the middle, man. Get in the middle. Get my mustache. Get my unibrow. I wish you guys were here. It's so, so, so pretty. <laughs> Sir. I am going to be making the ladies who own this place dinner tonight. I'm going to make some stuffed chicken. And I am so thankful that they let me stay here because the dinghy is having issues. Come on, you. Tiny little bit of black crap in my gas tank, my dinghy. So, thinking that if there's not water in the tank, I'm gonna have to uh, do something about the carburetor, which is a bummer because I can't do that by myself. So, so here it is. You can see in there. There is some junk, so that's a problem. Let's 
super bummer. Super bummer. Made a little bacon wrapped chicken. It's stuffed. The vegans aren't here tonight. So, right. so, the, so while, the, while the vegans are away, the, the carnivores will eat. Yes. yes, that's right. Food orgasm. <laughs> oh, I love you girls. It's yummy. <laughs> you guys are it is very wonderful. good. Thank you. Thank so the winds are blowing 22 knots right now. It is so gusty out there in Cuddy Hunk off of the harbor. And I am in this adorable little cottage, as you can see, that um, my friend Lolly is letting me stay in tonight. Uh, it's so romantic, but I'm here all by myself. Early in the morning, I'm gonna go have some coffee, watch the sunrise, maybe. And um, yeah, so that should be really cool. Um, thank you so much, Lolly. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Crash and I are going for best wet rat award. I think I think you win. <laughs> and if you can see, kind of over that roof there, is Martha's Vineyard. And over there, like right he over here, is Miss Lone Star. Actually, maybe over here. So we're in the Outer Harbor. But um, this has just been a really nice treat to be here, have a nice shower. And um, it was a really long shower. Um, so that was really nice. So I'm going to go explore Cuddy Hunk, and you guys are going to come with me. But it's really neat. It's kind of like a little fishing town. Um, it was founded by some fishermen that like to fish for sea bass. So this is a little fishing town. And I can see the mass in the inner harbor. I'm in the outer harbor right now. And uh, it was a little bit cheaper. I picked up a mooring ball because um, uh, Rob's been, Rob is on the mainland. So I, I didn't want to be out on the hook by myself in case I had to reset the hook. So these are all things that I'm learning and it's exciting. Uh, it's good, you know, if something happened to Rob while we were underway, you know, heaven forbid, uh, it's really important that as a first mate, I can take care of the boat on my own. You know, I mean, I would be stupid for me to be out there and not know how to dock the boat and drop a hook. And I make an excellent first mate, but I also need to learn how to captain too. So that is a work in progress. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy watching me try to do that. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but try it. <laughs> emptied out the gas tank. So what happened was this morning, I got up, I was I stayed over at Lolly's because I was having the, uh, the engine trouble with the dinghy, 
and I got up this morning, pulled the choke out, put it in neutral, ripped the cord, and she fired right up. So what I'm thinking happened is that there was a little bit of sediment in the carburetor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty out this gas, which I just put in this five gallon bucket. Right here, I'm gonna take it to the, the dock. And then um, I'm going to put brand new gas in it and hope for the best. So, think this is gonna work? Huh? Better work. Better work. I'm quite a bit shocking myself. Oh yeah, I look good. I'm a maniac, maniac on the floor. And I'm dancing like I've never danced before. Onyx, I would enlist your help if you had thumbs, but you do not. still see the black stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see what looks like sand or something. Maybe I should try to filter this gas with something like a coffee filter or some kind of strainer or something. They got straight to the point and moved me to the mold. Down from the autopsy on the second floor. They called in a specialist named Jonathan Wright. Figured if he couldn't do it, I'd be put out of sight. Let's bring it back to life. What you threw away, you will win first prize. Little touchy, little tender love and care. Sure ain't no Frankenstein. It's the man. Brought out in the light. Looks like the dinghy might have me beat. I got all the way out here into the water. The tide thankfully is taking me towards the boat and now I can't start the engine. One more time. Okay, so got it in neutral. Choke is out. I just ran it. I don't want to flood it, so I'm not going to prime this again. Key is right. Now I am going to pull the cord. Come on, you. Well, at least the sunset is beautiful. I'm being blown now in the wrong direction. The sunset is stunning, so I will enjoy as I row. Fun fact, when I was a kid, I was on crew. But rowing a dinghy is not the same as a skull boat at all. Oh, I just gave Bianca this long talk today. Um, it was her first day of school, and I told her that no matter what happens, no matter what happens to you, nobody can take your attitude. Your attitude can be whatever you want it to be. And so if you're having a bad day, just choose a good attitude. So, I'm trying to practice what I preach right now. Oh, if Onyx had thumbs. I'm gonna turn you off. It's sad that the GoPro is my only little friend to talk to, but I feel like you're all there inside of it watching me. Maybe I've gotten nuts. I left the boat for two and a half days and the refrigeration went out. Not it's not broken, it's just the batteries died. And so I thought that I would invite you guys to join me to have a look at what's growing inside. What's growing? 
What's growing? I can smell it. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Oh, God, I wish you guys could smell that. Ugh, it's disgusting. Okay, so I think that we should set the beef and the pork free. What do you think? Should we set it free? Should we feed it to Jaws? Because we are on the Cape. Yeah. We walked some beaches and uh, Crash went everywhere with me. He's still kind of adjusting. He's still plucking. Um, I wrote a nice blog post. I know you guys have a ton of questions about Crash and um, you can find that here. So um, check that out. It's kind of an explanation of where he came from and what his deal is. Um, so so please please check that out on uh, MissLoneStar.net and uh, also on Facebook you can get a uh, post throughout the week to see what we're up to. Uh, so I really hope you enjoy this video of my struggles mostly with the dinghy. It's kind of my nemesis but um, as I tell the little ones who are at their grandmothers, you guys have been asking about that too, um, it's all about your attitude. So, you know, anything can happen, but nobody can take your attitude. So that is what I'm trying to live by here. I can't take my eyes off the sunset. It is truly amazing. Who commented on isolating the um, starting battery from the main house batteries and I did have a look at that and um, what it looks like is that there's switches down there which I'll show you um, and it should be pretty easy what happened was is that all of the switches were getting left on the house battery the windless battery and the um, and the engine battery which is a starting battery so um, every the house batteries were drawing off of everything else which was a problem so there's switches so now when um, now when I leave the boat or I'm not using um, using the electricity I just switch everything off and not just at the uh, switchboard there at the navigation station I actually go to the batteries and shut it off so I do believe that they're isolated because there hasn't been any problem since but if you guys know something that I don't please comment below and let me know um, I'm trying to absorb as much as I can and thank you so much for the comments oh my gosh I could write a book on all of the amazing comments you guys have left with great information um, and I really appreciate that so well, it's getting dark and the Sun is going down thank you so much for watching oh and I forgot to say we have gotten so many um, patrons over this last week thank you so much it really 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 helps and I, I just I'm so thankful and I just can't believe that so many of you like to watch and so many of you donate and pledge on patreon for uh, our videos it it really keeps me going I really just want to keep creating these for you to watch and enjoy from wherever you are in the world um, and if this is a lifestyle that you're looking to um, to pursue yourself it's so worth it, it really is I mean it's hard it's hard we have to fill our own water tanks you have to pump out the black water you know you have to do everything to get anything but it's beautiful it's really really worth it so keep dreaming keep watching and you'll be there too so as always thank you so much for watching check out our Vimeo 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 wherever I end up putting this <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe mother trucker bye Take everything I ever learned Roll it in a ball and throw it at the sun Welcome to Miss Lone Star. Thank you so much for subscribing, watching, liking, and donating to um, getting us around the world. This week I am trying to learn how to do a lot more things by myself. Um, so that has been really interesting and that's what you're gonna see some of this week. And also a little bit of P-Town with Rob. Uh, it was really interesting. I didn't prefer it. 
Um, I don't know if I'll go back. I kind of like the solitude of these little islands. Uh, right now I'm on Cuddy Hunk and I'm watching a gorgeous sunset. You can see the pink reflecting on my face. Parking is a little tight here. We just had the roughest dinghy ride to date. I said you have to come down here. Mine in the gutter. Hey Crash, this is a big day for you. You've taken the very first bite out of our boat. There it is. Huh. Right there. That's where it is. Yep. It is. Are you going to cover it? Through the canal right now, and we're making 11.2 two knots, 11.4 knots. We're at ebb tide, so the current is to our back, and it is just pushing us through here so quick. Last time Chet and Rob came through, it was. Um, it, the current was against them and they were going two knots. I can only imagine how painstaking that would be to be going through this canal at two knots under motor. So, tally ho. Everything seems to be pretty in slow motion. There's no way this can be pretty Even though Hey mister Going at half speed How you speed. doing? You in your bedtime perch? Yeah? Do you want to play a little bit? Even though Is that a no? I love you like Can you say goodnight to everybody? Say goodnight! Across a vat Goodnight! Oh, good boy, you are. Oh. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> Gentle. We are in Cuddy Hunk, and it is so beautiful. You can hear the surf. Um, it's so relaxing. Uh, Crash really likes it. And Onyx and Crash and I are walking on the beach, and we met a wonderful woman named Lolly and her mother, and they have a little rental property here. So we're gonna hang out with them later tonight, and then head back to Miss Lone Star um, and do some organizing. I got a couple projects to do, so that should be fun to watch. Don't pluck my eyelashes! <laughs> he loves to pluck my eyelashes. Not only does he pluck himself, he plucks me. Just get in the middle, man. Get in the middle. Get my mustache. Get my unibrow. I wish you guys were here. It's so, so, so pretty. <laughs> Sir. I am going to be making the ladies who own this place dinner tonight. I'm going to make some stuffed chicken. And I am so thankful that they let me stay here because the dinghy is having issues. Come on, you. Tiny little bit of black crap in my gas tank, my dinghy. So, thinking that if there's not water in the tank, I'm gonna have to uh, do something about the carburetor, which is a bummer because I can't do that by myself. So, so here it is. You can see in there. There is some junk, so that's a problem. Super bummer. Super bummer. Made a little bacon wrapped chicken. It's stuffed. The vegans aren't here tonight. So, right. so, the, <laughs> so while, the, while the vegans are away, the, the carnivores will eat. <laughs> yes. yes, that's right. <laughs> Food orgasm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> you guys are it is very good. Thank you. 
so the winds are blowing 22 knots right now. It is so gusty out there in Cuddy Hunk off of the harbor. And I am in this adorable little cottage, as you can see, that um,